Hi Church, welcome to today's devotion uh, and this week's devotion actually as we continue to look at the wisdom from Proverbs. My name is Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and this week I'm going to take you through my absolute favourite proverb. It is Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight some translations say all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight each day we'll look through a powerful thought that this verse looks into and today let's look at trusting god with all your heart proverbs 3 and 5 begins with a powerful command trust in the lord with all your heart trusting god completely can be challenging especially in a world that teaches us to rely on ourselves our own reasoning and our own abilities. We often feel safer when we're in control, yet this verse calls us to a deeper level of trust. God isn't asking for partial trust or trust only when things are easy. He's asking for our whole heart. This wholehearted trust means surrendering our fears, plans and uncertainties to God, believing that he knows what's best for us. Even when we don't understand, it's easy to trust God when life is smooth. But the true test of faith comes during hardship, confusion or loss. When life feels unstable, trusting God can seem risky. But he is the only one who sees the full picture and knows the outcome. Trusting God with our heart isn't passive. It's an active choice we must make daily. It means bringing our concerns to him in prayer, seeking his will through scripture and believing his promises, even when our circumstances seem to contradict them today take a step by of faith by trusting god with a specific area of your life surrender your heart to him knowing that he is trustworthy and faithful to guide you in the right direction let me say that again so today take a step of faith by trusting god with a specific area of your life Surrender your heart to him, knowing that he is trustworthy and faithful to guide you in the right direction. Love you, church. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue a look through Proverbs 3, 5 to 6.